All right, today we are checking out the Lobo trailers that you see behind this sweet 4Runner. This thing is like the trailer of all trailers. It's like a RV and a tank had a baby. We came cruising up here and I was surprised how quick, because I was passenger, how quick he was just going over the bumps and the crevices and the ruts in the road. This thing is just unreal. So let's do a walk around. We're gonna meet the owner and we're gonna look at all the features of this trailer. It's just so badass. Got the tent on top. The suspension was just, it, it was effortless. This pretty much fully loaded is about 2,500 pounds and the Forerunner was towing it like it was nobody's business. All right, let's meet the owner and let's walk around this. All right, here's the owner, Jordan <laughs> Brady. Stop. And he is getting the awning ready. We're getting it set up. Yeah, you want to take a look at the whole thing, the whole shebang? We're, let's do a full walk around, but you know, my first question would be your logo. Lobo trailers, that's got to mean something. Lobo trailers. So Lobo in Spanish is obviously wolf. And that came from when we were designing this brand. I really wanted to think about like, what does it really mean? And what's, what's the purpose, cause, and belief of like what our brand actually is? And if you think about a wolf, it's all about pack. It's all about discovery. It's all about adventure. It's also about survival and the ability to be rugged, to be to move quickly, and also provide for like your loved ones within your pack. Like if you think of the overland industry, they're a tight knit group. And so Lobo is not only wolf at heart, and that's what our wolf is right there. It stands for living our best outdoors. So that's that's that acronym right there. So living our best outdoors. Living our best outdoors. This would be it. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> exactly how you do that with one of these adventure trailers. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this awning, open the tent, yeah. open the kitchen, and we can take a look around. So I like how the awning is just attached to the side, not in the way of the tent. Oh yeah, and it's the full 270 degree. Overland vehicle systems on this one. Overland vehicle system awning. That's nice. It's like you pull up the camp, this is like the hangout spot. This is where all the grub is prepared, where you're sheltered from the sun. Okay, and it kicks out even more. Yep. Uh, okay, that is awesome. So this can be a standalone tent, uh, and sorry, a standalone awning. You can put the legs down if you want. Okay. But I always tell people when I'm teaching my customers about their, their setup, the awning is only as strong as what it's mounted to, right? Yeah. So if you notice, I'm going to tension this a lot, okay. and then your, t your awning will be very tensioned, right? So you've so, got a lot, a lot of like tension here, so we don't have to put the legs No down. need for the legs, yeah. No need. The legs just get in the way. They get in yeah. the way, exactly. And yeah. so, yeah, so that, it's a pretty good awning. Now, one of the things about this trailer that you really want to notice is as we go around, there's no electronics that are exposed to you. We haven't wasted any time giving you the max amount of storage and the max amount of space for all your stuff. We always say that camping comes with a lot of stuff and it comes, and we always say that camping comes with a lot of stuff, yeah. right? And storage is ample on this trailer. So we wanna make sure we give you a really good experience so you're living your best outdoors, but also you wanna get your rig back. People are putting their stuff inside their rig, their Jeep, their Forerunner. Take it all out, get your rig back and put it all in the trailer so when you get off work, you hook up and go. So makes sense. I'll walk you around. I'm gonna unlatch the back here so you can get into it easily. Everything locks up too, all yep. set to the same key. All, all key set, set to the same key. Yep. Um, 16 gauge steel, powder coated, and all of these drawers come with 500 pound drawer slides. So huge, huge pullouts, lots and lots of storage. Yeah, it's um, a lot of space. And you're not lacking you're not having to leave anything at home because of all the storage you've got. So it's pretty nice. And literally behind here is these other shelves. Yep. So you're, you're just, there's no space waste. No, we'll take you down there. So then on the right side, so I'll lap that up. I like the three drawers there too. You can put yeah. all your dirty gear on the bottom. Yep. Uh, you can line it. You can get a Tupperware that fits that height and just put the sloppy stuff there, cleaner stuff here. Who knows what else? Your clothes, you know, yep. recovery gear. Um, any type of gear, but so we actually designed the shelves on the kitchen and the spare side for um, cereal boxes and g g gallons of, of water or, or milk. So you can actually, it's all strategic on the height that we built the shelves to be. So okay, pretty pretty nice. So we'll come around here. I'll leave this open so we can take a look. 
on the right side, and I'll, I'm gonna save the best for last. I'm not taking you to the kitchen just yet. <laughs> okay. On the right side, on the right side, we've got more storage over here. Um, I think we've got our yeah our propane generators right here. Okay. This will hook up if you ever have cloudy down days like it is today, and you can't plug in your solar panel. So we do have solar charging capabilities up to 300 um, amps. So um, if you don't have that, you can plug it into this Alp propane generator and um, charge your trailer easily, no problem, just right off of your propane on board. And then over here, underneath your this storage area, you've got this latch right here, and this is where your dual batteries are. And uh, this customer opted not to upgrade theirs to lithium ion. They have the gel deep state, okay. deep cycle batteries. But, but it's, it's hidden. It's, it's out of hidden. the way. You're not, out of it's the not way. an eyesore. No, if you look at a, a lot of these other competitors that we um, that we you know compete with in the industry, a lot of their their storage is taken up by batteries. There's usually a huge compartment somewhere that they have their inverter, their batteries, their switches, all of that stuff, and it's just taking up storage. We've hidden these behind compartments. And you're not sacrificing on any storage at any time, which is really nice. Got it. Both what, of our, What's the depth here? So uh, you're looking at roughly 18 inches. 18 inches? Okay. Yeah, 18 inches back. And then, um, I, so to give you an example, you could put two cases of liquid death or three cases of liquid death. Those of you familiar with liquid death water. We okay. just became familiar. <laughs> yeah. uh, in here. So, yeah, about 18 inches back. Okay. So, and then the next cupboard over here is going to be your water heater closet. So we use the Julka hot tap on board the go-to the go-to and it's it gets super super hot and then uh they just have their catch-all and you, the best part about these is you just hook up and hook up your propane quick release and then you, you have hot water immediately there's no issues so that's awesome and then quick release on that put it back in there and then you shower in so um this also does remove this customer didn't want theirs to be removable but you can on other units you can take this off and go shower uh off in the distance so there's no gray water on the ground here Got and this it. goes directly to your sink, which we'll introduce you to in a second. Okay. Um, yeah. So then we'll move on to the front. You'll notice that there's these two front boxes up here. This is kind of a funny box. Um, in the industry, there's not a lot of these, or if at all. I haven't found any. Um, and a lot of people say, well, what is this for? Well, initially it was to store uh, big aluminum solar panels. Um, but we redesigned the purpose for this and it'll fit two Dometic tables and uh, four Dometic chairs in here. I think we've got a bench, a Dometic bench in here, but it is a pull through. Big Goes long storage. End to end, opens on the other side. On the as other well. side, yep. And automotive grade sealant with these big latches that suck the doors right in. Otherwise, people will be using this space to put big tables or flat yeah. items, which You're you want to put your kayaks, your gear, your, you know. You're sacrificing, here's the thing about a lot of these other brands, and I, I don't like to compare myself because I just kind of stay in my lane, but what we're trying to do is not have you sacrifice storage for things that don't need to take up a lot of space. So put your ta tables and chairs here. Use your other sections for gear, for food, for things that you're gonna need, right? Mm -hmm. and so you can keep those accessories here. Another thing that we kind of pride ourselves on is you know, with recreational vehicles comes a lot of like boring stuff that you don't really want to look at or use or see or stuff like that. It kind of keeps dirty. This is like the junk drawer of overlanding, right? You got your solar cables, you got your charging cable, your propane lines, couple of chargers, some bungee cords, the junk drawer of overlanding. And that's kind of nice, this recreational vehicle, this RV section right here. It's kind of like a real kitchen in our homes. That exactly. You always have that junk drawer. Well, this is also an outdoor kitchen. So. There's not a lot of soy sauce or ketchup in here though, the ketchup drawer as they call it. <laughs> And then right here is gonna be, a, again, it's another big, huge push-through storage drawer. We've got our Zero Breeze uh, air conditioning unit in here and our um, geyser system water heater for those that wanna store, uh, not use a lot of water while showering. Now on board, cool. speaking of water, we do have 22 gallons of water on board in the back. So behind the rear suspension is where your water is going to be. 22 gallons. 22 gallons, uh-huh. That'll get you. It'll get you. Yeah. If you turn on that hot tap, though, you'll get through that water really fast. So that's kind of why we carry this around, to help you um, to preserve your water. Okay. So if you are off for like seven days and you're in maybe Joshua Tree or somewhere in Moab, there's not a lot of water around you, you can use that geyser system to shower and even to clean the dishes if you need to. So great, guys. You can find those at REI um, or you can give us a call. Um, now, if you come up front... All of our trailers are outfitted with uh, lock and roll systems. This will allow your trailer to articulate 360 degrees and then another 180 left and right. 
And basically, if you have a two inch ball on here and you get past 30 degrees, your ball's gonna pop. You notice I wasn't afraid coming up this hill. You weren't, no. We don't have to be afraid because we've got this master lock and roll up here. All the trailers also come with um, cable pull brakes that go directly to your hubs and also uh, seven pin um, driving brakes. So if you do have a, a brake controller on your vehicle, it will control those uh, brakes on the back hub. Got and it. obviously your emergency e-brake right here, if your trailer ever gets away from you, it'll it'll pull the trailer off. And if you don't have a, a brake controller, you can get a um, the court, the court Bluetooth, yeah. which you just connect it and you can have a permanent button on your dashboard or uh, or use your phone. Yep. yep. Um, and then this customer opted to upgrade to the ARC 750 rolling jack. Kind of a robust, excessive thing, but really nice when you're pulling it around your garage. So super, oh, yeah. super okay. good accessory right here. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'll, I'll have you walk around the other side and I'll show you the kitchen. I'll show you okay. the good stuff. All right. Let's get a further view of this thing. Again, about 2,500 pounds fully loaded. That's with all your water, all your gear. So some of you... You know, do you think 2,500 pounds is a brake controller necessary? You know, I don't have a brake controller on my 4Runner, so the answer to that's going to be no, it's not necessary. But I have slammed on a brake a time or two, wishing I had a brake controller. Okay. So yeah, maybe, you know. So, all right, so let's get into it. So if you notice... Um, this, is, this is the side where all the action takes place. This is where place. all the action is. Yeah. This is underneath your big, huge 8-foot yeah. uh, awning. And so this is where all your family, your experience is going to be. Um, so over here on this side of the kitchen, this is about the only bit of electronics you're going to see. On both sides of the trailer, on the left side and the right side, you're going to have 12 volt and USB plugs on both sides. Pretty standard with your um, your 120 amp. That's what you call those. Yep. The normal plug. Yeah. Normal plug. Yeah. And then, of course, a stereo. And then this is your shore charging for your uh, plugging into your house, and you're going to charge your house. So okay. flip this open. And then if you notice, on our corners of our rack, we've got our Baja design lights on each of the corners. And this is going to illuminate. Nice. The rock lights. Yeah. These are super. Baja bright. are the best. Baja <laughs> are the best. They were yeah. kind enough to send these to us, and we were able to outfit these 3D printed uh, units on here. Yeah, so cool. Opening from each side. Yep. And then, so powering this, obviously, these all these items are taking juice. So those two batteries in the back um, that that are nicely hidden, they're how many amp hours? So those are two 100 amp hour uh, gel deep cycle batteries. Okay. And you can upgrade to a single 200 amp hour batteries. Okay. And then on board, um, because this is running off of AC. It's yep. got to convert it. Your inverter is a 2000 watt inverter. Okay. Yeah, because these really don't take a ton of power. They, no. They've really, technology's come a long, a long ways. Yeah. So. But so. That, that is nice. Even that color, that, that blends the in real nice. black is really nice. Yeah. I, like, I like how they open up from both sides. That's a cool feature. <laughs> yeah. Iceco really did their homework on that one. That's nice. That's for sure. It's so stealth looking. Yeah. Yeah, and this pull out because this is where everybody's gonna hang out, right? Yeah. You, you've got your whole Overland crew, and kitchen. Every, everybody's rig's gonna be off in the distance. Everybody's coming over here yep. to chill out. What about lighting? Do you do any? I, you know, obviously the Bajas are great there. Any lighting that would go with this? It's just kind of anybody can outfit what they want. Yeah. So what we carry with us is we'll carry. Um, it's like a a little mini pack with a ton of LEDs on it. Okay. And we'll run it all the way around. And then if it's ever dead, we'll just plug it straight into our 120 volt plug like at your house okay and it lights up this whole room yeah. like, a, like a like a big living room and then the coolest thing is and the reason i like these 270 awnings is if you put walls in here it basically turns this section into like this big outdoor living room yeah okay so you can get the curtains in the walls yeah okay back up top super yep. nice close it all off yeah because this is the the mood vibe right with the, the lights and the cooking and this is where it all happens the mood vibe yep i like that very cool and then rooftop tent, is there a go-to that you equip them with or is, can that be a customer choice? Yeah, so do you want me to open this one up or do you want me to keep it closed? That's you. I, I don't think people know what a, rooftop, know what a rooftop tent, tent is. looks yeah. like. Yeah. So this is a, a, a three to four person, I would say three dudes can sleep in here comfortably. You put a fourth dude in there, we're kind of nudging each other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> too, many, too many dudes in the tent. <laughs> uh, but most often they'll go with the bigger so, uh, soft shell tent. Okay. Comfortable sleeping is really nice. If you're worried about like like gas mileage and stuff like that, you can get the thinner iCamper camper or like um, Overland Vehicle Systems or OBS carries a couple of them, a Mamba 
or a sidewinder tent. They're a smaller uh, profile okay. than the big soft shell. A lot of people don't like the soft shell because they've got these covers on them. Um, but honestly, with how big the tents are and you're putting it on a trailer anyways, I don't find it to be a big deal. Got it. Yeah. And yeah, so family of four, mom, dad, and two kids, two kids can yep. easily fit up there. Exactly. May maybe the family dog. Yeah. May <laughs> Nah, we'll, or he goes in the forerunner. Let's put her in the forerunner. Yeah. Or no, Lobo. So the family dog That's sits true. sits watch sits, sits and outside watch, and Lobo. keeps the family safe. <laughs> Let's get an outer view of this with For the. Sure. Now, if you notice underneath the, the trailer, there's four point balancers on each side, two up front and two in the back, yep. that are kind of tucked in. And uh, underneath is also your A-frame trailing suspension. So these drop down really easily and give you your balancers. So when you're up sleeping in your tent or moving around, your kids are playing in there, you're not rocking the trailer or moving your kitchen around. So super easy tucked in there. And then your 22 gallon tank underneath with yep. your independent suspension. And uh, that's a lot of travel underneath there. You got about 20 inches depending on the tire you put underneath there, but yeah. Oh yeah. Super, super nice. Plenty. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and up front, so you're on four points when you're uh, leveling out at camp. Yep. There's the front ones here. Okay. Voila, and then some more lighting here. That's amazing. This thing is kick butt. <laughs> Yeah, and as far as towing, like 2,500, any 4x4 four four can tow that, you know. Most, most the, the lowest tow rating would be 5,000 pounds, maybe. Well, and that's fully loaded with water. I mean, there's ways you can go lighter. Lighter rack, lighter tent, skip the awning. You can get down to, so just the trailer alone is 1,900 pounds. Okay. Even a Subaru can tow this. Yep. So cool. I'm just thinking of any other questions I got. So, you allow a customer to choose what wheels they want to put on or is that yeah. so for our 2022s we've got a couple of those left um you basically start with the trailer and then we upgrade all of your accessories from there um our 2023 is it's basically ground up build but the but the but the lead time is going to be roughly around 16 weeks for those okay now this is an awesome stealth color but you do other colors in this gray green um and then a sheen black this is a matte black but we do have a sheen black as well okay Gray, green, gray, kind of like your rig. I think um, we're going to go back to your warehouse. Um, so maybe we'll look at a couple there. So you yeah. have some other colors there? Yeah, for okay, sure. cool. Well, let's, uh, maybe we'll fold up the awning. And I want to see you, when we came here, <laughs> Jordan went up some crazy stuff over here. So I want to just show you the Forerunner pulling it, <laughs> pulling it with ease. It's so cool. Let's do a little drive around, no big deal. Jordan's going to go up this with the trailer. And just to give you an idea, I'm going to come down this hill, which is maybe five feet up. Here we go. Like it's no one's business. Let me try to follow him. Video never does justice on the, the depth perception or how tall something is, but that is pretty darn steep. He is way up there with zero effort let's get a front shot here coming down okay you see that he is way off camber up there and he's coming down this hill <laughs> all right that was crazy <laughs> It's a tank. a tank. Now, many people won't do that, but that just shows you in extreme what it's right, Jordan. That was insane. Totally insane. But you know what? You just showed everybody <laughs> what it can do. 90% of our owners are never going to do something like that. Oh, never. No. Uh, to share with everybody, Jordan said, do you want me to come up or down that? And I said, no. <laughs> and then he got in and did it anyways. So that is a very steep hill, folks. But it just shows how robust this thing is. It's it's insane, and you know it's the suspension, it's the build quality, and it's the uh, the tow hitch is pretty phenomenal too with that swivel in different directions. All right, let's go back to the shop and see what other colors this comes in. Sweet. Okay, here's trails that most people will be taking.
And what's great when we pulled up here is the trailer totally is on its own. It beeps and wobs, but it doesn't jolt the truck because of that hitch. So that's what most people would do when overlanding. All right, Jordan. So like, here's the big question. I want one of these. What will this set me back? Of course you do. <laughs> Everybody wants one of these. And that is the question, right? Um, so a lot of our competitors, uh, people, when they look into these trailers, are really, really afraid. They won't get into them because they just assume that they're going to be these astronomical prices. So just the trailer down is going to be 24000 And that comes with everything you saw in the video. So you got your kitchen pull out, you got your onboard batteries, you got your water pump, your water tank, all your storage, independent suspension, wheels and tires. So in theory, you could just come to us and with our basic rack, this is our upgraded rack, you could put your own tent, your own awning, your own fridge and go camping right away. Okay. Okay, a couple motorcycles went by because we are on a trail. But when you said everything we saw, like, okay, I get it. Bare bones from here down, meaning no rooftop tent. You still get the um, the supports, just not this upgraded one. But you got to buy your own fridge. So at the twenty four grand fridge, that water uh, heater, yeah. that's that's the add-ons. You start adding that stuff on. So just like your Jeep or your Forerunner, you buy it basic and you start upgrading, right? And yeah. so at the basic level, you have your pull-out kitchen, your and and you, what you need to bring is you need to bring your tent, your awning, your water heater, your fridge, uh, your propane tank, your propane mount. But you already have your rear swing out. You already got your water tank, your kitchen, your full electronics. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you have your rig, if you got your forerunner or your Jeep and you already have the tent, the awning, and the fridge in your rig, just throw them on here and go. You know, you don't even need to, to work with us. So you started at 24000 the most we've ever, ever been able to upgrade a trailer to is roughly 38,000 and that had lithium ion batteries in it. And that's to the nines. That's with that's, the fridge, the, top, the the rooftop tent, like all the gear, 10 everything. gallons of extra water storage up top. Yeah, like full but, on gear. They want low jack. <laughs> 38, but wait a minute. Aren't like Patriot, Turtle, some of the big names out there, they're like 15 grand more than that. They're in the 50s. Yeah, they're 50s. Uh, Patriot, sometimes 60s. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Don't get me wrong. They're super nice trailers, but um, yeah, we, we haven't found the need to be that expensive. Okay, but yeah, I'm about to say they're super nice trailers, but so is this. So, I mean, just full candidacy here. What does one of those trailers have over Lobo trailers? Like you're paying 60 grand, 55 grand over 38. Okay. What am I getting? Am I getting something more? Australia? I don't know. Australia. Uh, so just the name. Just the name and really good branding. Don't get me wrong. Those are really well built rigs. But if you're talking apples to apples, uh, it's rig for rig at that point. There's a lot of little um, like really nice design things that they have on their rigs that we don't have. So. But outside of that, like as far as accessories go, like one-to-one -one accessories, Turtleback and Patriot, you have the same accessories. Okay. Yeah. Because a fridge is a fridge, a rooftop tent's a rooftop tent. You know, that's yeah, what you got to think just about. Yeah, branding at that point. Now we yeah. can upgrade your electronics to Red Arc system, right? And then go uh, anti-gravity batteries and um, put an onboard water filter on board so you can throw it into a lake and and and. But when we're talking like normal pricing for this trailer, let's say you want to build one normal price, you're still looking at around 30. Okay, so like 30, low 30s, mid 30s for... Mid 30s, yeah. So average build price out of our shop is typically around 32 to $33,000. Okay. Yeah. And that that's, that's you know, people that don't know, that's a deal when you compare to Patriot and uh, Turtle and some of the other ones. And this thing is just badass i know this like when we first met we were talking there's so many big names in the industry that are coming to you and they're wanting not you partnering with them they want to partner with you because they know that you're the up-and-coming kick-ass brand so yeah, it's pretty fun um i was actually really surprised that that was the case i kind of have a little insecurity when it comes around that because there are big dogs in the industry but i didn't ever intend to uh chase turtleback or patriot or compete with them at all I actually just intended to build a trailer that my wife and I could go off-roading and people kept buying our trailers off of us. And so... Uh, a business my, was born. Business was born, <laughs> left my six-figure job, and Lobo Adventure Trailer is, is here, you know? So here we are. That's awesome. I love it. Again, the logo, Lobo. Yep, Wolf. Um, yeah, the, lo that, the logo's cool. I've had, I've had this on my mind since college. Um, this year, when we're fully U.S. made, we'll illuminate his face with a star, and uh, that'll be our U.S. flag right there. It'd be nice. 
That's awesome. Yep. All right, here's that gray color. We got back in Jordan's right now, parking the other trailer, but I thought I'd come back and show you that. There's a couple of units there, wrapped up, ready to get accessories. And here's that green color. That's pretty cool, with like a goldish uh, logo. So those are the different options. So if you want to learn more, I can put you in touch with Jordan. Just hit me, uh, give me a DM and I'll give you his direct number. You can visit their website. Um, but yeah, this is gear for living out, or no, the, the Lobo. The Lobo, living our best outdoors, Lobo. So cool. All right, this is the big up and comer. Get them while you can. All right, any questions, just hit it in the comments. And like I say, you can just message if you want to be in touch with Jordan directly. Thanks for tuning in and watching, and happy wheeling.